Let's kick off with a look Thank at you. the largest, uh, one of the largest listed stocks. It's been a battle between Ebel and S Safaricom for that top spot. But Safaricom, of course, a big company to report its full year re revenue numbers are coming out today, up 13%. Uh, what are your thoughts on the numbers? They've just been released. Well, uh, nothing spectacular. It was to be expected that the revenues would be up, especially after the uh, increased uh, tariff prices in the second half, unlike uh, the rest of uh, their competitors. This was really just to show up uh, their bottom line because they saw that if they did not uh, increase tariffs, they would definitely take a beating. And uh, we've seen that uh, they, just barely, they just barely made it because uh, net income is in fact down 4%. So it's not uh, something uh, very, it's not, it's not very positive uh, in my view. However, something worth looking at is M-Pesa. M-Pesa has contributed greatly to the company's income because uh, revenue from M-Pesa business was up 43% to contribute 16.9 uh, billion. So that is uh, definitely one of the avenues that they need to be looking at. Yeah, let's look at, uh, as you say, one of the areas in PESA. We know that data is an area where you receive high margins. We know that overall the trend is for uh, ARPUs to, to come uh, under pressure and that voice revenue are falling. Uh, looking at uh, non-voice mm -hmm. revenue as a percentage of total revenue, sitting at 29% uh, uh, there. What are your thoughts on, on how Safaricom is doing in the data space right now? Yeah, uh, that, that has to be the focus area. Uh, they cannot uh, expect to make much more from voice. Uh, aside from uh, money transfer, there is, of course, internet services as well, which uh, they, they can definitely stand to make good on because uh, they have a very good uh, corporate customer base. Uh, they're improving on their retail individual uh, internet uh, subscriptions. However, uh, one, one uh, recent development uh, that's of a bit of concern is that they recently scrapped their unlimited internet offer, which other, in, other mobile networks are uh, now jumping on and providing. This, this was very big, especially with in individual users and uh, small businesses. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't attend the briefing, but it would be interesting to find out why it was uh, that they thought they needed to scrap this off, off their offering. Clarity, and they surely thought that through, as you say, and, and thinking through how competitors would react to that. Uh, let's move on to Equity Bank in the banking space. Uh, World Economic mm -hmm. Forum is taking place in Ethiopia right now, and uh, the head of Equity is Bank coming out saying that they're looking to perhaps list in London or New York or South Africa, perhaps outgrowing the Nairobi Stock Exchange. Uh, would that be a positive uh, for Equity stock on the NSE right now? I mean, it would be great if, 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 it, were, uh, if it were possible for it to happen. I, I, I don't think that equity has outgrown the market. As much as it is uh, third, ranked third on capitalization behind Safaricom and East African breweries, uh, you'd realize that it's, it's actually half the size of those two companies, uh, coming in at less than a billion dollars in market capitalization. Uh, for it to, to raise capital outside Kenya uh, on, on one of those bigger markets, they'd be looking to raise quite a bit uh, of money, possibly another billion dollars, which would double its size. But uh, the question would be, what then would it do with all this, with all this uh, money? I, do, I don't think that there is scope for equity to go out uh, into those markets right now, though over time it may, it may be a consideration they should make. As you say, because if you say that they have out, haven't outgrown the market, then that clearly uh, sets the focus on the type of ambitions they have in terms of capital raising. Uh, how's Equity Bank doing yes. right now in, in its growth in East Africa against the other indigenous banks? Uh, how would you say it's faring and against, of course, all the, uh, the, all the foreign banks that are, that are in the area? Oh, equity is faring pretty well. Uh, it's one of the best performers uh, in, in Kenya and East Africa at the moment. Their growth strategy is very correct uh, for the region. Their target market is also uh, paying off very well. And uh, in the first quarter, they have performed well uh, ahead of KCB, who had, uh, taken, uh, who had taken over as far as fastest uh, growth. But uh, I think their strategy in East Africa is paying off. And uh, the fact that they also have uh, moved into, they moved into HFCK strategically a few years back uh, because they also wanted to tap into uh, mortgage financing and uh, that kind of offering for the lower market. I think um, they're posed to, to do very well in this region if they carry on uh, as they are. 
they, they are not looking to raise any capital, unlike um, four other banks that have already announced that this year. For them, I think uh, capital is, is not yet a problem, and they would be looking to do that possibly next year. But uh, positioning the market for plans. Uh, let's move on to housing finance because housing finance now targeting uh, low and middle income consumers when it comes to uh, mortgages. They say that they're looking to, to extend, uh, extend to, uh, $9.6 million worth of housing to this uh, part of the market and selling those mortgages at 15% below the market value. What type of demand do you think is going to come through for this in light of the fact that interest rates have been so high and prohibitive for many of these uh, consumers in these segments? Oh, it's a very informed move that uh, HFCK is making. Uh, it's a bit bold, but I think it will pay off in the end. They, they have uh, reactivated their building, uh, the building side of, of, of their company, a subsidiary called Kenya Building Society. And uh, they, they launched a project yesterday to build 162 homes, what you've just mentioned, worth uh, slightly below $10 million. And uh, that is going to be sold off in turn. Uh, they have mentioned a, a price, a tentative price of each unit going at uh, 6.8 million shillings. Uh, what this will create for HFCK is, uh, first of all, income from the sale of the houses, but also uh, mortgage opportunities for the whole uh, 162 homes. This is something that they plan to roll out uh, across uh, the outskirts of Nairobi over the next few years because demand for housing in, in, in uh, Nairobi is uh, far outstripping supply. However, most suppliers have been servicing the higher, the higher end of the market. The middle and low income uh, ho housing segment has not been fully serviced. So HFCK is taking this opportunity to try and uh, tap into this market. And possibly this has been informed by um, Equity Bank's involvement in the, in, in, uh, the HFCK board because yep. HFC, uh, equity's um, target market is the low income uh, segment. Yep. This could also pose, uh, may allow uh, HFCK to access um, some lower priced funds from development agencies uh, internationally. So it's a good move. Alistair, one stock that we have to touch on is, of course, the Chumi. That stock has risen by 100% this year. We know that uh, foreigners are very uh, in interested in getting uh, into retailers in Africa in general. They've been driving up the uh, local retailers here in South Africa. Uh, and Chumi now has really attracted attention from foreigners. Uh, how, how much uh, more space does this stock have to rally? Well, I, I mean, uh, it, would be, it would be hard to say right now. Uh, up over 90 percent year to date i think uh, that's uh, that's fair enough uh, given that it's priced around uh, where it got delisted at which was fair value uh, at current levels between 14 and a half to 15 shillings what has really driven uh, the, the price up on this stock is uh, the demand uh, for it and the lack of liquidity on the stock um, people are buying into the retail story uh, and uchumi is an efficient supermarket chain However, I don't see uh, much, much more room for upside unless, uh, un unless they report very stellar earnings, but their full year comes uh, in June, so we shouldn't see much more movement, but uh, we are still seeing some off-market demand on that stock. It's definitely one to watch because uh, consumer stocks are liked because they are a bit shielded uh, from uh, tough economic times like what Kenya has been facing because uh, any costs are uh, passed on to the consumer and the company, the underlying company is still able to report good earnings. But uh, as far as upside on the price, I think uh, it should be, I would consider it a hold uh, at current levels.